Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you want to see how I created this look, please keep watching. Alright guys, so the other day I woke up and I saw this picture. And I was like, holy I was like, I need to recreate that at least, you know, I wanted to do it just for my own to just paint on my face. I was like, I can film it. And I know y'all don't really like to watch the makeup videos that much, but I like making them. So I'm going to keep doing them. Maybe y'all will start to get on board or not, but honestly, it's just all fun. I just, it's so therapeutic for me. And if you do your makeup then you also know how therapeutic it is to just sit there and paint on your face no matter the outcome or no matter what you're doing to it so here we go the other thing is i didn't have a shade of blue that matched that because that shade is so pretty it's just kind of like an icy blue shout out to sweetie the icy girl <laughs> I do have a ColourPop shade of blue that I think might work out if I dilute it with some sort of white shade. And I'm gonna be honest, I haven't looked at my palettes yet. I don't think I have a white shade that is just a stark white. I think there's one that has a shimmer to it, but that could honestly be super pretty on the lid. So we're just gonna see how that turns out. This might be a weird angle, sorry, but this is the only way I can get my tripod to stand and look good. At least, you know, you can see what I'm doing. So this is the blue shade that I was thinking of. It's not, as you can see, it's not as light as the one from the picture. But like I said, if I dilute it with some sort of white or cream, maybe it might go to that shade. Um, this is old. I don't even know if they make this anymore, but it's Lost and Found from uh, Colourpop, the single, single shadows. I think I've tried playing with this once, I think just in a liner, and I don't really like how blues look on me, but like I said, when I saw the picture that Jamie posted, I was like, holy shit, that is so, so freaking pretty. And so we're just gonna hope it looks good on me. So I'm gonna use this. And also this is the white that I was talking about again on this palette. And I've played with this before, as you can tell, before everything happened. Oh, there's a blue a little bit. Anyways, um, yeah, so hopefully the shimmer looks cute and hopefully it's white enough and not translucent so it can dilute a little bit. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some concealer this light concealer, it doesn't look light on camera. It looks dark, but maybe if I mix it with the shade of blue, it'll actually come out uh, pretty like light blue. So what I'm gonna do is take some of the concealer and place some in this little, it's a candle. Uh, it, this is actually a candle uh, lid, but it probably works good as a mixing palette. Just have to get creative guys. I'm gonna need a lot. I wish I had like a little spatula that I could just take it and pour it on here. And I think I might be running out. Now that I hear it, I think it's coming to an end. Anyways, there's that. And then I'm gonna take the back of a brush and scrape some of the shadow, this shadow out. So here we go. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, here we go. That kind of hurts me. <laughs> Even though I don't use this shadow, it kind of pains me to see it being scraped like this. So that's how we're gonna start. Make so it doesn't get too dark. And then I'm gonna take another brush so I don't um, mess up this one. This, I don't know if you saw that. So I don't mess up this one. And we're gonna mix it in. Ooh, the fallout though. This one's worse. See, yeah, I barely even touching it and it's falling out. I wanna do a lot of this just because we want that blue to be super, super light. 
Oh god, that really is falling out like crazy. And we're gonna see how this looks first, and if I need to add more blue, I will, and if I need to add more white, I will. So, let's see. Let's mix it. It's getting clumpy. I hope this works out because I didn't really think this through that much. I just said, well, if I have a cream and if I have my pigments, it could turn into a cool color. But it doesn't look like it's doing anything. Hmm. Now I got a clumpy mess. Shit. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god! What is that? And it's turning more of a gray color. Right? Yeah. Oh, that looks so bad on camera. <laughs> I wonder what else I could do so it could be creamy. That looks so ugly. Yeah, that's just powder now. That's not gonna work. Well. <laughs> this is what we came with so i have the concoction that i made and i don't know if it'll work out and because it's super super powdery look it doesn't look as bad on this camera on this angle the on the tan though it looks horrible so i'm put it <laughs> i'm gonna put it in my eye and see how it looks actually i always start with this side so let's do this eye I can feel it falling. I don't know what's going on, but I can feel it. I honestly think it's that white that made it super. Oh! Wow! Mm -hmm. That's pretty. <laughs> That is weird. That is weird because it looks so ugly on the tan. Like, I'm gonna show you. That's what it looks like on the tan on the eyes. It's really pretty. I'm shocked. I'm really shocked right now. Like, that is crazy. Okay, the other eye. I still have some on my finger, too. So. I was talking shit about it falling and, and feeling the, the fallout on my face, but. Honestly, the color is super, super pretty, so I might have just done something. I'm sure everybody does this already, like, mixes shades and comes up with their own concoctions. Like, it's nothing special, this I didn't get covered well, and I went ham. Look at that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try some more. So, coming in here with my little concoction, it's kind of, you know what it feels like now that I am playing with it? It feels like the color pop, like the um, super shock shadows, like the, the creamy, puffy, like texture. That's what it feels like. Okay, so we're gonna put more in this eye. Okay, so like I said in the last video, you gotta trust the process. This looks crazy. I know, I look like a, a freaking explosion of blue in my eyes or whatever um but when i clean it up don't quote me on that but when i clean it up it'll look good all right so coming in here again with my little concoction it turned into like a goopy like you see that mess but like the pigment comes off pretty good so so who cares we're gonna put more on this eye and i can feel it falling <laughs> 
I could feel it falling off my eye, like some of the little clumps. But the pigment is staying on there. We're gonna extend to make again to make my eye shape more of an almond and not of a round. We're gonna clean that up. Same thing with this eye. A little more of a help here. Oh wow. Oh, that's what I look like right now. Like Bozo the Clown. I don't even know what Bozo the Clown looks like. I just say that because that's what adults say. Adults. That's what grown people say. Okay, so again, I'm gonna clean it up. shadow looks like right now with my own mixture hope you can see oh yeah no you can't okay my own mixture we're gonna call this shade the icy shade or something all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do my foundation, my eyebrows, and maybe I'll put some lashes on, maybe, off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is a finished look. Um, it actually came out super, super pretty. I love it. Um, I probably will go and take some pictures in the sunshine. Um, this look would have been perfect yesterday. Yesterday it snowed here. It never snows here. It would have been perfect, but I don't know, I kind of just enjoyed yesterday. Like I was just looking out the window, like um, I kept looking over and I was like, it's still snowing. It was so, so cool. It's snowing. You're ready to go inside. Are you ready to go inside? Hope you guys liked it. And as always, if you like my content, uh, please subscribe, leave me a comment, uh, leave a like, press that notification bell so you can see whenever I upload. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.